Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Andy Slaps and today I'm going to be showing you the best tips and tricks for Apex Rank Q so you don't lose any more points. More specifically, how to be a Watson God and destroy enemy teams in professional scrims or everyday rank matches. The timestamps of the topics we cover will be listed in the video description below. Now before we show the interview with Zack, let us first break down Watson as a whole. Watson is considered a support character that specializes in using her abilities to secure locations and prevent unwanted enemy team pushes. Sadly, she was nerfed this past year and now takes 5% more damage, just like Wraith and Pathfinder. Watson's passive ability allows her to use her ultimate ability directly after consuming an ultimate accelerant, thus getting rid of any cooldown time. Her active ability allows her to place electric fences, up to 12 at a time, that damage and slow enemies who run through them if they are unable to shoot them out first. Her ultimate ability destroys enemy grenades and any encroaching missile strikes or bombardments from Bangalore or Gibraltar, while also healing players' shields that are in a short distance from her ultimate. The ultimate also recharges her active ability almost instantly, which allows her to place her 12 fences a lot faster. Watson is an absolute godsend for holding down tough positions, especially when playing in professional scrims or ranked matchmaking. Now let's talk about our guest today. You may or may not know him personally, but today I'm joined by FlyQuest Zach. Although he is pretty new to the professional esports scene, him and his team have put up impressive placements in high profile Apex tournaments, such as the Apex Legends Pre-Seasonal Invitational, which took place in Krakow, Poland in September of 2019. His team also fared quite well in the recent GLL Apex Legends tournament that wrapped up at the end of 2019. Now that you know why this man is one of the best Apex players in the world, let's dive into what tips he has for you when it comes to playing Watson and winning your rank matches today. I know you're watching this video because you want to become a better Apex player, so let's jump right into the questions and tips Zach has on how to be the best Watson in the game. So Zach, what are the biggest advantages and disadvantages of playing Watson in ranked matches or professional scrims? I think the biggest advantage to playing Watson in a ranked match or professional scrim is having the ability to throw down that trophy system so it can pick up like a Gibraltar ult or some grenades, also giving you that like um, that healing effect over time. That's really valuable because a lot of the time in these professional scrims, you don't get a bunch of heals. However, the disadvantage to playing Watson is like you don't have any mobility options like Wraith has her uh, Into the Void or Q, and then Pathfinder has a huge grapple. Uh, if you play Gibraltar professionally, Gibraltar has his bubble too. So with that being said, like you got no way out if you get caught, so it can be really punishing. How often should you be placing your fences and traps? Do you place them in every fight, or do you try to save them for after you've looted and start playing inside the zone earlier in the game? Uh, you should be placing your fences and traps every single time you get the opportunity to, but at the end of the day, it's your gun that's going to do the damage, it's your gun that's going to give you the advantage in the fight, so you should really focus on just positioning to help your Wraith, help your Pathfinder, help your Gibraltar, and think about the traps later. But it's important that you keep those in mind because those can be very um, important to defend off a of third party and or go for a res if you've traded evenly and there's traps down, maybe they can't push that door because you renewed the traps there. So always keep it in the back of your mind. At the end of the day, it's your gun that's gonna do damage and that's the thing you should be focusing on during the fight. Obviously, what loadout you have is subjective to your individual playstyle, but considering Watson is not a high mobility character, does that in any way determine your loadout? Like, are there any guns that are better to run on Watson versus other ones? So when you're playing a support character like Watson, you always want to be thinking about complementing your teammates. And in a situation where the zone is ending um, maybe north of Epicenter in the open, you want to run maybe a G7 Scout and an R99 because it's really important to have that range advantage to be able to support your Pathfinder who may be pushing in a fight because you're able to hit big damage. However, if you notice the zone is going to end inside a Skyhook building, then it's very important to have a PK because if you don't have a PK, odds are you lose any fight inside of the building because of how strong that weapon is in the meta. So that being said, it really is dependent on how you want to complement your teammates and where the zone will be in. When should you be placing your ultimate down? More specifically, how do you know what fights are important enough to use it and which ones you just shouldn't bother with? Also on a side note, do you carry an ultimate accelerant with you or do you have your teammate hold on to one for you? So that's actually a Watson essential is having some ult excels, whether it be on your teammates or you, doesn't matter. It's important to have them around. Obviously, if it's in your own inventory, it's sometimes it's easier to use, but it's important to have like at least one. 
At the end of the day, it's better to use your abilities than to die with them up. So if you're questioning yourself whether you should use your ult, definitely use it. Because at the end of the day, if you die and it was down, you're going to really regret it. What are the best locations for Watson's abilities to be used, and what are your favorite rotations to do? Well, obviously Watson's ability is catered to playing slower, so anytime that I can slow down behind a rock or slow down inside of a building, I can use my fences to create some space for my teammates, I can use my ult to pick up any uh, projectiles incoming, and I can give my teammates a little slow heal in there too. So anytime that I can just set up and be safe is where I prefer to set up with Watson. Um, what are my favorite rotations to do? God, any rotation where I'm not putting myself in harm's way, seeing that I have no mobility, it's like some of these rotations will just punish you every single time. So anything where you can just stay alive without dying. What is the best team composition to run with a Watson on your team and what characters counter her abilities the most? The best team composition for Watson is probably going to be with a Gibraltar and a Wraith or a Pathfinder and a Wraith because it's just the most meta characters at the moment. Characters counter Watson. Uh, currently, Caustic Barrels don't get picked up by the Watson ult. So Caustic can sometimes be pretty annoying to play against and crypto crypto ult will destroy all of your fences but not your ult so those are the two strongest counters do you have any special tips for playing watson when it comes to the mechanics of the character as in where slash how would you be placing your fences when you're inside of a building because you only get 12 fences sometimes it's really easy to go through them so if i know there's no teams to our east i'll sometimes be uh stingy about using my fences on those side and put some more presence on the other side to be more obvious that there's a team here. I don't want people to just push us because they don't think we're fenced up enough or they don't think that we're set up yet or we're just an easy target. And how do I place my fences? A lot of the times, if my doors are very important, let's say we're in a really good spot in a pro scrim and I know there's teams on all sides of us and our doors are very important to have, then I typically will do X's with my fences instead of just fencing off the doorway because if that door gets open for any reason, the fence will break the door and having doors is very important in pro play because anytime someone pulls up with a peacekeeper on your door, if it's gone, it's kind of a 50-50 who hits the first shot and who gets the momentum in the fight. I know there are many factors determining how you play in one game versus another, but do you think I should start camping a zone as early as possible or play the edge of zone? Because I personally find when I do a full Watson setup, enemies target my team a lot more because it gives away our position versus just placing my setup later on in the game. So I find in ranked and public matches, people are a lot less respectful than in pro play. In a ranked or public match, if people see Watson fences, it's kind of like a sore thumb. You're just kind of saying it out there. And I think you're getting pushed because in ranked and pub matches, people want to go fight stuff. I mean, we're playing Battle Royale to shoot at each other and win the game. Not a lot of people think about positioning in these pub games and these ranked games versus in pro play, you get rewarded more if you, if you survive longer. So I think that's why you see Watson, people respecting Watson more in pro play versus in your, in your game. Um, determining whether you should camp in a zone or play the edge of the zone, I, that's not really up to you, dog. Cause like if you land Skyhook and it's ending in thermal, you don't have much of a choice. You kind of have to play edge because all the other teams have faster rotates than you. And they're going to take all the God spots before you can get there. However, in a perfect world where you know exactly where the game's ending and you drop there and you get to set up there, definitely setting up with some shotguns on your Watson ult and some fences in a house is going to, it's going to give you a good chance at placing at least top three and get some, get some frags on people rotating. In general, what would you say are your best tips for winning more ranked games? Um, this game isn't like PUBG or it isn't like a lot of the more campy BRs. There's a reason you see a lot of the pro players playing faster. Partly it is because they're super confident, but it is because this game doesn't play out the same. You get rewarded for having the right timing and third partying a fight. Tracking the knocks on each team is one of the biggest tips I can give anyone. Whether you're in bronze or whether you're in predator, if you can track the knocks on both sides of the teams and then third party once each team has one knock, you have a very good chance of just winning the fight and taking home some free points. I think that's probably my best tip for winning more ranked games. Um, aside from that, um, if you're going to play Watson, you need to have good positioning. Because you're a no mobility character, you're going to get punished really, really, really hard by a Wraith or a Pathfinder who can get in and get out if you have bad positioning and you get taken advantage of. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video will help you in your future Apex games. Please consider slapping that like and hitting that subscribe button for more Apex content every week. My name is Andy Slaps, and I hope you have an amazing day.